Monday is cardio core, right? Cardio and core. Mm. So a typical cardio move is jogging, sprinting on the spot. Our trainers here, Tanya at the end, Mike and Terry Ann are all amazing Hollywood trainers and they're demonstrating all our exercises for us. But cardio is important for beginners because it improves your aerobic base. You need oxygen into the muscles because oxygen, my friends, burns fat. You need we oxygen like to burn the fat. So yes, as you improve your cardio, you will also be able to be more efficient at all the other types of training, like weight training and resistance training and Pilates and yoga and all that other stuff. Tuesday! <laughs> Tuesday, we're moving on. So Tuesday is interval training where we go back and forth between resistance and Ooh. cardio exercises. So right now they're doing a push up to a side plank and Tanya is doing a modification, so there's no excuses. If you feel like the exercises are too difficult, she's always gonna have a modification I'll be for you. I'll probably doing the, the Tanya version. That's right, because yeah. it's okay though. That's, Beginners, that's fine, as long as I'm getting it done. You, you know? have to allow yourself to be a beginner and it's totally fine. You start with the modification and you go up to the more advanced option, okay? But the most important thing about the interval training is that you boost your metabolic rate and you burn more calories and you burn more fat. So I get so that question burn a lot. Cal you burn more calories just walking through everyday life, doing everything. It just kind of yeah, kicks by, it up a Exactly. Nut. All right, what's Wednesday? Wednesday is cardio kickboxing. Uh-oh, let me yeah, back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, show us your kick, Law. Show us your kick. I'm going to throw a show oh, my Throw us a jab. But the cardio kickboxing, we threw that in because it's important to mix up your cardio. The number one. Guard your grill. People often do the same cardio move all the time. They jog, they walk, they spin, but they don't mix it up. They'll go to the same class every day. You have to mix up your cardio movements so that A, you don't get overuse mm. injuries, and B, so that you don't plateau. You have to mix up your exercises. A lot of people ask about that. They hit a plateau and how do I break through it? Mix it up. Mix is... it up. All right, let's hit Thursday. Thursday we do core. Yes, and cardio again. It's interval training with core work. So everyone, come on, get off the couch. Come on down to the ground. What's, what's, what's the big deal with, with planking? Well, plank what? is just a great way to get your core, okay? Strengthening your core. And you're on your plank, you're squeezing your abs in That's as tight too as you sexy can. For TV. Imagine <laughs> That's some sexy planking. Oh. I had to let you know that she was hardcore, okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> so on Thursdays we're mixing core work and interval training, I'm and you're shaking. just gonna keep you're just gonna keep going <laughs> and holding that core. <laughs> so on Friday, that that's not gonna cost you too much, but it is gonna cost you. <laughs> <laughs> on Friday we're moving on to yoga. I feel stronger. Yes. So this is my favorite day of the week. I can't lie. The importance of yoga is that we get to lengthen out those muscles because when you do strength training and cardio, you're shortening the muscle fiber over and over again. We want to lengthen it back out and we want to improve the range of motion of the joints and make sure that there's lots of flexibility. So they're doing what's called a down dog right now with the alternating heel presses and they're stretching the bottom of the feet. Do you ever get those pins and needles in the bottom of your feet? Or does that... your back ever get tight like around here, yes. anybody? This, this may look weird, but it feels so good. It releases that whole lower back. All right, and here's one of my favorite days. Saturday. Saturday is <laughs> Feed Your Soul Day. So you do whatever your body feels like when you wake up. I but... kind of just relax. <laughs> and relax. that's okay too, because it's really important to listen to your body. Yes. And then I go for a walk, once I've relaxed well. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jeanette. Um, you guys feel like you can do some of this? I mean, we're, we're not there yet necessarily, but we can work towards that. that. That's what it's all about, is setting these goals and sticking to it and doing it at our pace and going for it.